Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Modern love is here. How are it we feeling, guys? Very good. Yeah, good. Right. I'm excited. What is it like to have this out there finally? It must be uh, like passing over your child to the world. Yeah, it is. It doesn't feel like our album anymore. It feels like it's everybody else's album. We've uh -huh. given it. Uh, we've, we've done it our bit. <laughs> yeah. You go listen to it. Um, but it's exciting. And yeah. we've been waiting for it for a long time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's great. I listened to it in full. Uh, over the last couple of days. Right. Amazing. Genuinely, wholly impressed. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes. This, uh, this was you. so highly anticipated. Yeah. Particularly intrigued and interested. Obviously, the big single, Modern Love, is going to be the first official single I'm hearing, right? Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Bring it. Um, but a real standout song for me was this collaboration with this female vocalist. This is just sounds class, too. Tell, yeah. me about, tell me about that. That's actually, that song, Someone to Hold, was the third song I think we've ever worked on together. Mm -hmm. Ever. So back in 2015. No. Okay, uh, it's been in the works for quite some time. Yeah, so, so we did it. I, I kind of wrote, I wrote it as a duet, wrote the whole thing start to finish. Mm -hmm. And then we recorded a version of it. And it just kind of, we never really got it fully right. Mm. And we never had the right female singing on it. We just had like a demo vocal. Yes. Um, and then Chloe, who sings on it, she's an Australian mm -hmm. pop singer, um, who was amazing. Her voice is incredible. Uh, she was suggested to us. Um, and we just listened to her stuff and got her to record a pass of it. And we knew then that she was the person that needed to be on it. She was the perfect person for it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then yeah so we wanted to put it on the first album but it just okay. wasn't right so then the timing was right this time 100% yeah. and like modern day discovery as well to discover someone in that in that way yeah, that exactly. I presume you didn't get a chance to meet the girl no I've never, never met her so was this the constant over and back with whatsapps as well yeah, was, yeah I've talked to her like on Instagram a few times and yes. stuff like that yeah but, okay yeah it's cool um <clears throat> So you went to New York, you know, far gone from a thigh now, lads. We're in New York <laughs> launching this album. How was it? It looked amazing. It was. Yeah. It, was yeah. it was a great experience. Um, we didn't think we'd pull it off. Um, we wanted to launch from somewhere iconic. Yeah. And no better place than Empire State Building. Sure. And it was good fun. Yeah, it was windy up there and cold. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was worth it. Yeah. It was worth, yeah, it was good, a good and experience. I, we mentioned this kind of off-air a couple of minutes ago. Did you get a chance to like enjoy New York and take a second to yourselves to, to, to have some personal time? Or was it just work, work, work? It was work and sleep. sleep. It was work and sleep, yeah. Like we've, we first went to New York a few years ago as yes. a band and we did all the touristy stuff and now when we go there we just kind of meet up with friends like our record label's there and yeah. we're great friends with them so we really just go out for dinner and relax lovely and yeah, yeah like dream that. and how was the big performance on NBC that was great, great. yeah what yeah. was it like was been... brilliant. Yeah, it's, mm. yeah that was our actually, that's actually our second time on that show and, yes um it's great. Not as scary, I guess, when you're doing it for the second time. Yeah, the day, the land a little yeah bit. it's yeah. cool. And we were we played If You Want to Be Loved. And um, it's just huge to be able to play uh, a show like that in the States. And we instantly, and the song went straight into the American charts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is such a huge reaction for us. Um, yeah, we, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So you're looking ahead, obviously, I was uh, I was waiting for it to be released and thinking like the day after Valentine's Day was quite a nice touch, ironically as well, because you kind of associate modern love with, like it was kind of waiting on until afterwards. Um, but you're gearing up for a very busy 2019 then, guys, yeah? We are, we're excited. Yes. That's what we're going to production rehearsals next week uh -huh. um, for five tour. nights in the three arena five nights in the three arena yeah mm -hmm. um, starts in Stockholm goes through Europe UK mm -hmm. um, then finishes in the five nights in the three arena and then after that we're on to uh, an American tour through, okay. through April and May mm -hmm. and then we have festivals and stuff over the summer then UK tour end of the year so mm -hmm. we're okay we're it's going to be mad very busy yeah we'll be yeah. working yeah. on new music all that time as well mm -hmm. um Working on the third album. Um, can you tell us anything about? How, I've got a question. One before I get into this. Uh, how often do we do you think about that electric picnic performance? Does it cross your mind every day? Yeah, I actually posted on Instagram about it last night. Um, I think about it a lot. It's, <laughs> it, it was an emotional moment for us as a band. It was kind of a. It really kind of solidified as I think I got quite emotional on stage that night. Um, and we sat in the dressing room afterwards for like twenty minutes, just in silence, just kind of staring at each other, like. And then Cliff just burst out laughing. It was just, we just didn't know how to react. It was just, it was an un unforgettable night. Mm. Especially coming so close, like we all live 15 minutes from, from Stradley. Yeah. And yeah. like growing up, that would be an iconic festival. And then we were finishing up the Sunday night. So it was mm. a real, definitely a real moment for us. Yeah, wow moment for us. Uh, things have just evolved so quickly. And um, this goes without saying now, I feel like I'm kind of stating the total obvious, but in terms of how we've met over the years, for you guys and how this involvement is happening so quickly and it's gathering speed so quickly, do can you go anywhere in Ireland without being recognised at the moment? 
it's you, you get recognised all the time but it's I hear people complain about it a lot but like I'm never like can you go down to the local deli now and get yourself battered like a few I, sausage rolls I can. And can you can you do that peacefully I, 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 can, I can get myself a sausage roll but <laughs> I'll have to get selfies and stuff but I don't mind it I appreciate okay. it okay I, I have no problem I have time to talk to anybody who wants to talk to me about the band of course it's, of course yeah th- this is what we we got into this for the band to be the biggest band it could possibly be. Yeah. And for us, we're not famous as people, but the band name is famous in this uh-huh. country, which is great. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly how we like it. Everyone knows the name of the band and knows the songs. And that's how we love it. We love the band being famous. We want the band to be as famous as it can be. Yes. But once you can get your sausage Once I can get my sausage rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, couple of things to do, right? Number one, I we were thinking talking about this more guests are trying to get really creative. I'm kind of cringing now thinking this might be the most creative thing <laughs> in the world, but let's just do it because we've done it. Right. We want you to picture three scenarios and work your way out of them, okay? So picture this, okay. picturing this, right? I'm going to be good at this. <clears throat> I'm going to be good at this. Scenario number one. Matty and George from the 1975 approach you. Right. They say they want to ghostwrite your entire next album, no input from you whatsoever. Yeah. They want to produce it too, you just have to show up and play and sing and do what they tell you. Do you hand over the reins of your entire career to your heroes or fear they might be out to sabotage you? We said, fuck, say, no. fuck off. That's it, no? No, Fair. Scenario two. Picture this can only continue if Ryan commits to performing wearing only the Kildare GAA tracksuit constantly oh, and representing geez. picture this. Right. And he's not even allowed to take off the jersey at the end of every gig. Wow. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> picture I this think the band might finish there. <laughs> I'd, I'd happily say finish it up. Yeah. <laughs> Forget <laughs> about it. Yeah. And the final one is just a straight up um, would you rather question Rob from the internet. Would you rather never use social media sites ever again or never watch another movie or TV show? Social really done. Yeah. Oh, done. Really? Do you not really get enjoyment from it? It's more just like this something. Like it's a great way, I presume, of course, well, to engage with your fans and do all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, we love it for the band. It's amazing yeah. to communicate with fans and put out content, but personally, mm-hmm. I don't so, see the reason, sorry. Yeah, okay. But it's just the fact, I think it's the, like, we're, we're, at, we're a band, so you get inspired by movies and films and things like that. Sure. They're really inspired. Exactly, yeah. of course. Social media doesn't inspire you creative, yeah. creatively. True, true. Just help that really. And finally, um, Modern Love, the album is spelling M D or N L V, right? Yeah. Uh, I like the way you had to kind of clarify that. Some people who are mildly confused. But in <laughs> terms of modern day abbreviations, can we do a quick fire round and see how yeah. up to speed you are with modern day yes. abbreviations of different things? Okay. okay. All right. All right. I'll just I'll just shout random names and see how we go. Okay. Uh, Cliff, B or B. B. Oh, be right back. Uh, yes, uh, Jimmy, uh, FOMO. Fear of missing out. Uh, yes, Ryan, uh, HBD. Happy birthday. Uh, yes, oh, and, uh, uh, I see why am I. In case you missed it. Uh, yes, uh, Ryan, JK. Joking. Uh, just, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Oh. Yes, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, uh, IRL. IRL? I, I don't know. Yeah, so do I. No, no, no. Uh, hold on, IRL. IRL. I really <laughs> like. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. In real, In real life. life. In real life, oh. yes. Uh, Ryan, NVM. Never mind. Uh, yes. Uh, Owen, O O T D. Outfit of the day. Yes! Well oh, man. Done, Cliff, SMH. Oh, shaking my head. Yes, lads, well done. So relevant. <laughs> what? So we're so relevant. You are so relevant. <laughs> there we have to do your homework for that one. Listen, huge congratulations. So proud of you. Bring on everything that's come in 2019 and beyond. Loving um, the new album. And yeah, just really excited for you. Thanks so much for Thank you very much. much.